In fact, there is a flood watch in effect until Saturday morning. It starts at 7 a.m. tomorrow. It goes until 7 a.m. Saturday morning and some portions in the Mid-South under a wind advisory. And because of those two things, we are in a weather impact day. Here's meteorologist Kit Thomas to break down a little bit more about what that means for us here. That's right, Danielle, with uh, with Helene now dropping five millibars just in the last hour. That is a significant drop, of course, with it now being a category four hurricane. Whenever the pressure goes down, those winds go up. So it is intensifying. It's going to eventually make landfall, bringing a lot of heavy rain to the Carolinas. But also some of the rain that the Carolinas has been seeing is going to be thrown our direction and then eventually merge in with the moisture from Helene. So we see through this whole event, it eventually stack stagnates over the lower Ohio Valley, continuing to give us rain into our weekend. By the end of it, this is the next seven day rain totals, but it's all from the Helene upper low merger here. We could see anywhere from two to five inches of rain across the entire mid south, less so into northern and central Mississippi. But for that high wind threat, and the uh, excessive rainfall threat that we have. That's why we have the weather impact day for tomorrow through Saturday morning. Gusty winds and flooding are going to be those main factors. You could see some power outages, so make sure you have all of your devices charged up and never drive through flooded roads.